quick pop quiz before we get into the vlog. Which type of viewer are you? Subscriber brain? Many wrinkle from pressing notification button. Mm. Or smooth brain of random viewer? <laughs> smooth beaver. <laughs> another week, another homestand. So I'm here in Washington, D.C., just touched down. It's horrible flying to somewhere as far away as this because you, you just waste your entire day. I mean, we set off at 11 a.m. and it's dark outside. It's like even not accounting for the time zones. It's super late in the day. Basically, you just can't do anything with the entire time. Had a fairly uneventful flight over here. The first flight though, uh, I was with Hex on one side, Benson from the CDL in front of me. And uh, Benson was apparently going to Atlanta, which is where we changed over. I guess they've got an event out there. So I had Hex there, Benson in front of me, and then a, a baby to my left hand side. But thank God for these, my in-ear headphones that the Overwatch seat got crafted, they're specially molded for the inside of my ear and they reduce, they're like noise cancelling for 20 decibels or something and then once you've got them deep inside and they're playing music, you can't hear a fucking thing. So thank God for that. Also, managed to catch up on some sleep because last night my girlfriend's cat decided to assert dominance over me by just pissing in the bed. Just looking at us straight in the eyes and just pissing in the bed. Uh, which was because, I mean, it was our fault because the litter box wasn't set up properly um, and we hadn't realised and so the poor, poor cat had been struggling for a, a while not knowing what to do. I mean, the litter box was set up properly but it was a top entry litter box which the, the cat has had that before so we thought it would know how to use it but apparently it's just been squatting on top and using it like a hole in the ground to shit into so it, it didn't really know where to piss and so it chose the bed fair enough listen i ain't angry i just didn't get a great night's sleep so i caught up on some of it on the flight so just waiting around here for jaws and hex as soon as they arrive i'll, I'll get the intros and then we'll go i think we're actually going to go and meet some of the producers out for a drink talk about some of the show with them this week i've traded in jake and zp for the uh, far more British, but arguably just as annoying human oh. beings. <laughs> I was, was going to say something along the same lines. Yeah, it's old jaws and hex. Old, old jaws, <laughs> old jaws, <laughs> old jaws. Well, old hex. I look twenty-two. Yeah, that's yeah. Funny. yeah I look twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. I'm nineteen. Look at that. I would rather. I would believe that hex is nineteen before I believe that this baby-faced motherfucker is twenty-six. <laughs> just got to our hotel. Apparently, we're the only people really staying here out of the blizzard people, you know, it's only the, the casters. And we were wondering why. Maybe it's because not everyone is as stylish as we are. I mean, look at this place. It's, it's beautifully done up for a hotel. This is strangely lovely. I mean, look at that. It's got, it's got like, I don't even know what this is. It describes it as a concept room. A room itself is just a concept, really, isn't it? I mean, what is a room except walls and a place in which to be? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, right, we're, uh, we're, we're out with the producers, you know, all very respectable individuals. <laughs> Apart from Sarah, who drinks vodka and water. Why does she drink vodka and water? I don't know, I don't know. But there's something in her drink. Yeah, what's the point of the water? Some weird yeah. shit in there. Put it in, put the camera in. So, for hydration. It is, it is waterproof, not, after not all. Yeah. We, we did not come to a solution. We did, we don't know. This motherfucker got me out chasing burgers. Chasing cars. I literally ran In, up to a car. It's so cold. Yeah. It's so cold. My, I feel like I'm back in the UK. Well, I just ran up to a car, literally behind it, sprinted behind it. It wasn't the fucking car. I probably scared the driver shitless. Thought I was going to fucking mug him. Oh, God. <laughs> We are fucking goblins. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You are a mess. <laughs> oh God. I'm not allowed into the warmth until I eat my food. Seems like it should be an obvious lesson, honestly, but lesson number one that I've learned in Washington is don't drink on the night that you land from traveling because my throat is boomed and I am not in uh, 
not in a fit state this morning. It killed my productivity. I was supposed to wake up early and be able to uh, get out, but I failed. Uh, but I just did some content with Peek and now I'm looking for Jaws and uh, Bren, who was supposed to be down here because we we're gonna go to brunch. So let's try and find them. I found them. Hello. Hello. We're going for brunch. It's gonna be late because of you. Also, you also it's it right zero out. degrees. It's zero degrees outside. <laughs> I didn't pack a coat. No, I didn't. I didn't pack any sweaters either. I just packed t-shirts. <laughs> oh, let's all cram in. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck. Oh, it's nippy out here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's nippy, honestly. Oh God, it's freezing. Which way are we going? All right. Let's go find some dinner. This place, yeah, it's, this place is too good for us. What do you mean? It certainly was too good for us. This place that we were eating at was designed for the rich elites. We did not fit in, especially me and my tip of the hats hat. It was far too bougie. Jaws also, as soon as we sat down, decided to tell us that we didn't like tapas. But me and Bren were just far too English to be able to leave. So we just sat there and we ate the tapas like good little British boys. It is so cold. I really should have packed a coat or something. Yeah. We uh, we've just had the most bougie lunch imaginable. The bathrooms were like small houses. <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't fit there particularly. Uh, oh, especially me and, my t <laughs> me and my tip of the hat's t-shirt didn't quite fit in. And now we're going to go to the Smithsonian because the rehearsal is on standby while they set up the tech, which uh, is preferable to being stuck in the area. We're off to the uh, Smithsonian Institute, National Museum of Natural History. Mmm, very natural. I like it. Architecture here, beautiful. Natural buildings. Very Carved natural out of the buildings. Snow. That was originally here. Yes, absolutely. Carved out of the rock. Free oh. admission. Oh, nice. So uh, what can you tell people, us about this, Brent? A lot of people don't know this, but way back when, yeah. humans were actually huge, and this is one of the world's first glory holes. <laughs> <laughs> like, if we're going to be serious for a second, <laughs> like, the actual origin of this, which I have just absolutely ruined the history <laughs> of, of, a, of a, a, a very niche part of human history. But, like, these were used as currency, these giant stone wheels. That still wouldn't get you one beer in LA though. <laughs> <laughs> it's talking about you lot. All of you that are putting comments on this video. You are 60% banana. <laughs> what is this? A mastodon. Oh, it's the, the American ones. Ah, the American yeah. ones were huge. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Yeah. I think it was it's recent discovered history, but like most dinosaurs had some sort of feathers on them. Yeah, yeah, but the T-Rex never. I don't know about the T-Rex, but it's just like they realized that most dinosaurs had feathers on them. Yeah, I think it was the smaller ones. Yeah, just like Velociraptors in Jurassic Park, they were huge, yeah. but they're actually tiny. They're like small yeah, like dogs. little chickens. Mm. Why'd you point at me and say chicken? <laughs> It's got a thick skull like Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I think the entire culture of Glasgow revolves around <laughs> replicating these dinosaurs' dominance battles. They're so small though. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize they were that tiny. I know, it's a lot smaller I they were, than uh, I. I thought they were as uh, big as the anklets. Look at the jaws on that there. beast. It looks like someone uh, just sat on an alligator's head. <laughs> Look at the size of these bugs. You reckon that if you were transported back in time to the time that when these things were active, that you would be able to survive? I said I could, oh. but I, I think a military base of 10,000 would. A military, yeah, a military base, base of 10,000 would get you, destroyed Have you now. not seen Terra Nova? The no. cancelled uh, ABC show, I think, only lasts one season. They travel back in time because the planet is so um, polluted and they manage to find this, um, you know, rip in time space or whatever. They travel back and sell the space. It's actually a really cool TV show. It costs like billions of dollars to make though. Okay, so they, they, these wouldn't have existed. Why? How? Um, because I said 70 million years ago. 
Okay. Yeah, they, these 300. are 300. Yeah. These are 300 million years ago. Also, you, well, you'd be high, right? Because the oxygen content in the air was just so. It I was don't think it was, uh, was that much it. higher, was it? We debunked this on our podcast. <laughs> oh, really? It was yeah. the podcast that never got released, though. <laughs> no. Oh, it didn't get released? No, it was like the precursor to the foreheads that never got released. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Hidden content. Hidden, yes. Hidden content. Oh, yeah. Literally there was hidden podcasts, actually. Oh, yeah, it went dark. It went didn't dark. It? Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, it I don't dark. know where those. VODs are actually on my laptop, I think. God, no, no, I wiped it, so no, they don't oh, exist. They don't exist anymore. Anymore. So, what, what's the what's the debunking of the opposite? Small, smooth brain. Ah, yes, this normal person in Twitch chat. Ah, more normal person in Twitch chat. Oh, this, this smooth brain with a few wrinkles. This person in a vast chat, starting to learn from big main caveman. Oh, a few more wrinkle. Moderator in a vast chat. Utterly smooth brain, no wrinkle whatsoever. Absolute peak sideshow chat viewer. Hmm, yes, yes. But now many wrinkle, enormous brain, very large. Ah, this me. <laughs> This is my brain. Lesson in evolution from uh, Brennan Hook, please. Look at this. How does this become this? A goose. <laughs> how, how does it, Bren? How does that become that? Paleontology is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's not really, it's not really. But. That is a huge turtle. Hear me out. It's gonna okay. sound dumb, yeah. but imagine. We could bring those back. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? As in like it would be possible. How? You just, just by breeding the big fossilization. Take, take, future take, armor. take the DNA, yeah. put it in the eggs of like a, a snapping turtle or a close the ancestor. Yeah. It wouldn't fit it. in the egg. Look at it, it's yeah. enormous. You could, right, but then eventually we might be able to. Imagine riding one of those bad boys in the open <laughs> way. <laughs> I'm telling you. Like, could you imagine just grabbing onto it? Just riding it around. Yeah. You, I think you could stand on it. It's nearly as big as a like a small uh, paddle board or something I'm, like that. I'm just saying. You say riding them around, it will be a very slow journey. <laughs> like those things probably don't move that fast. The turtle. Look at the. F here at the Smithsonian, and uh, honestly, some of the most impressive part about it is the live demonstrations they have. Uh, they're incredibly lifelike of uh, early human beings reenacting uh, times where they would be around the fire constructing their cooking and other tool making opportunities. We take log, cook fire. Me, a vast viewer. <laughs> <laughs> These are all completely accurate, preserved skulls of Call of Duty viewers. <laughs> These people are big fans of the Call of Duty League. <laughs> I think I've found my oldest living ancestor, not living, <laughs> my oldest <laughs> preserved ancestor. Uh, he appears to be 100% forehead. <laughs> Just all forehead. There's nothing else. It's just oh, there's there's another one. Just all forehead, all forehead. There's just nothing else. Just forehead. All right. Okay. Line it up. Line it up. Hurry, hurry. Wait. What do I click? Take picture. Okay. Be sure to look right at the camera. Taking your picture in three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> does your photo line up with the white guidelines? If it does, Pretty press good. done. If it doesn't... Oh, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was good, right? To the left. There we go. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Is it done? Cool. This is early human users technology. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> In the end of the... Perfect. Users photo move. Right. It done, yeah. Touch the early uh, human species you want to become. <laughs> Oh, you have to be Neanderthal. I feel like Homo erectus is the... God, look at the chops on that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Homo erectus Homo first. Erectus. You are becoming Homo erectus, <laughs> the member of the human family tree. 
You are becoming Homo Neanderthalensis, one of the closest relatives of modern humans. With, but with glasses. Oh no. <laughs> you just look like an LA hipster. You just look like an LA hipster. Would you like your photo sent to you? Does your photo line up with the white guidelines? Pretty good. Pretty you, you just perfect. Don't, yeah, you just don't have a symmetrical face. <laughs> Touch the early human species. What do you want to go for? Erectus, bro. <laughs> Why not the, uh, yeah, let's go for the <laughs> You are becoming Homo floresiensis. He was the Adults most molding out of all of them, to be fair, so it would be a good match. <laughs> <laughs> you are now Homo floresiensis. Warming up. This is definitely, this is definitely the kind of temperature that I like because I forgot my coat. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we're in the butterfly area now, Brent. So you, you have a history with butterflies. Yeah, I have I have a, a bad butterfly story and a good butterfly story. <laughs> Tell me the bad first, and then okay, we'll, the, you're looking cheerful. The bad one was when I was a kid. So you got to be aware of this. You got to look where you're standing. Because I went to one of these before and had tons of rare butterflies. <laughs> yeah. And I think they told us beforehand before we went in, but I just wasn't listening because I was a hyperactive <laughs> child. <laughs> Um, and I accidentally squashed a very rare butterfly <laughs> underneath my foot as a child. And it's one of my biggest regrets to this day. So. It's quite a nice life when that's one of your biggest regrets, though. Yeah. But, what, but what one of the, the best story I've ever had, yeah. also actually a terrible story for my grandmother, because <laughs> we were in the outback mm. visiting a waterfall. Yeah. And I got overexcited again as a kid <laughs> and ran off well, in, the, like, in the back trail. And uh, I disturbed. See that butterfly over there, that blue one? Oh, yeah. I, sh I kid you not, probably around 100 butterflies. Exactly that 100 color. 100 of them. Of that size. Yeah. And they just dispersed like a <laughs> Disney film. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. And it's like one of, those, one of those things that you'll never be able to really capture. Oh. He's trying to like land on the other side. Oh. Tracking is unreal. I just it looks like the mock soldier. <laughs> 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 the other one I had a bigger guy than Remember, you told me about the other guy with the red spot. Yep, yeah, this is a Dang. different one. Uh, where's the weird uh, mocker? Where's she at? She was right by the door when I came in. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. I think I see her. <laughs> no, she's not like, oh, no, she's a, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, could you what? Oh, that tiger swallow tail. Do we have the, you want me to go get the key? Oh, um. It's very cute. Well, like, you like your fit. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> that be sitting there. Your friend. Back. Have you got another one? Yeah. It's the same one. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's attracted to that particular shade. Oh, hello. <laughs> Poor Brent just covered. Yeah, maybe it is actually. Maybe it looks like a flower or. Yeah, maybe it's the shade of uh, flower that it normally goes to. It's just chilling. It's just walking around with you. <laughs> Oh, there, there he goes. You got another? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you got a big boy. <laughs> it's kind of crazy though. Like presumably they evolved like this pattern on the wings to look like the eyes of like an owl. 
That is yeah, the owl butterfly. Ah, the <laughs> owl butterfly. You're incredibly yeah. intelligent. Yeah. Wow. Unreal. It's pretty good. Those are all two of my brains. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of yeah. yeah. The one of two things you do know. Oh, oh, there's another one. You got two at once. The two for one deal. The two deal. time. <laughs> the dog to disrespect. Beautiful. Um, but check that board over there and or ask one of my colleagues. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, bye bye. He's, he's too big. Take him on a walk to the board. We can try and take him on a walk. <laughs> he's actually too big. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming with me, bro. <laughs> the butterfly whisperer. I want to, I want to drop him off on a plank. <laughs> He is just chilling. Yeah, he doesn't want to leave. He has no interest in leaving. Hmm. Cattle hearts, I think it was. The one you, that was following you. Cattle hearts are very similar. Oh yeah, it's a postman. It's a postie. Yeah, it was one of those two. Yeah, we're doing you got one on your back. Okay. On um oh, don't on your backpack. <laughs> okay, well it's on. <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> ah, butterfly. Jack the butterfly man. <laughs> oh, it's the only thing I can attract. It's the one on my head. <laughs> this butterfly is not leaving you. Oh wow. <laughs> He's been here for five minutes. He won't leave. Yes, yeah. I'd have to charge him. I'm like Uber for Butterfly at this point. Wow. He's a big boy. Maybe he's asleep. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> While I'm here sweating, he's just chilling out.